Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to Switch to Life. Today's video, we're going to be discussing all of DreamWorks upcoming projects that we know about as of March 2023. There is a lot of projects. Last week, I made my biggest video in terms of runtime. This week, I think I'm making my biggest video in terms of hype. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Our first movie on the list is something that I believe is uh, actually just a rumor, but I'm still going to put it on here just in case. Turns out that there is a rumor going around that something called Meet the Gilmans, which is a new original film that I thought was going to be released in 2024, has actually been renamed and set for a summer 2023 release date. Now, we don't know the actual name. It's either Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken, My Life as a Kaiju, or Meet the Gilmans. No matter what you want to call it, the rumor is that it's going to be released at some point in the summer of 2023. Well, I would like to believe that to be the case, but the issue is you need to give a more definitive date than summer 2023, especially because summer is less than three months away by the time I'm recording this video. So, you know, just give us a definitive date or say, sorry, we're wrong. This needs to be released in 2024, not summer of 2023. If we want more good news, there is actually a confirmed film in the form of Trolls Band Together, which will be the third film in the Trolls franchise and will be released on November 17th, 2023. Little is known about the film other than that it will star Anna Kendrick and Justin Timberlake. Even more good news, however, is that on March 8th, 2024, we will be getting Kung Fu Panda 4, which is actually confirmed to be the start of the Kung Fu Panda Master Trilogy. So essentially, we're getting a Kung Fu Panda 4, 5, and 6. Not all in the same year, obviously, just we're only getting 4 in 2024, and eventually we will get 5 and 6. Speaking of 2024, there are currently two release dates for DreamWorks movies, but we don't actually know either of the movies. We just know the release dates. They are February and September. If you want to know more, I have actually mentioned these dates earlier, and if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you will know that I believed that these two dates signify the release dates of Shrek 5, as well as the Meet the Gilmans movie. But, you know, Meet the Gilmans has been rumored for 2023, so what would the other film be? I believe it's actually going to be this new film called Mice and Mystics, which is a new uh, DreamWorks film that's based off of a role-playing game similar to Dungeons and Dragons. I haven't played the game myself, but essentially the plot is that it stars a bunch of humans who were transformed into mice, and they have to escape escape through a world where instead of fighting dragons with swords and uh, shields, they have to fight a cat with pins and buttons. It would make for a very interesting film idea, and I honestly believe that it, it would definitely be worth watching if it does release in 2024. But again, neither of these two films are confirmed. The only ones confirmed are that eventually we are going to get uh, something related to Meet the Gilmans, whether it be Roomby Gilman Teenage Kraken or My Life as a Kaiju, we're also getting Trolls 3 and Kung Fu Panda 4 and two unannounced movies in 2024. Oh, and there is one last surprise that I cannot wait to mention, but I'm just going to let this trailer that I made do it for me. You are invited to a legendary world full of amazing creatures. Experience the adventure of a lifetime as they take you to new heights. The exciting adventure inspired by the Academy Award nominated film Finally Breathing Flying Dragons come to life. From DreamWorks, how to train your dragon. Live spectacular. Okay, okay, I know what you guys are thinking. Why would I use the How to Train Your Dragon Arena Spectacular trailer to advertise a movie for How to Train Your Dragon? Well, that's the thing. 
This movie is going to be live action. Yeah, you heard that right. The How to Train Your Dragon animated franchise is dead. Turns out, Universal is planning on rebooting it with live action because it is going to be a money maker. This will be DreamWorks' first attempt at a live action film, although, to be honest, even though DreamWorks the company is going to be involved, DreamWorks is not going to be the ones making this movie. They'll just be help producing it or something like that. We don't know much about the film other than that it will release on March 14th, 2025, which actually is around the time that the 15th anniversary of the original film is, because that was released on March 26th, 2010. We don't know much about the cast, but this is still a really big film because, well, How to Train Your Dragon 3 was thought to be the final How to Train Your Dragon film, and, well, I guess it is. But it also means that DreamWorks is about to be a company that can be dived into live action. Maybe we'll get a live action Shrek or a live action Madagascar. One thing you can't do is a live action Kung Fu Panda. That That's just going to suck like the Lion King. But I guess that's it for the movies. So let's move to the TV shows. We have a lot of exciting news when it comes to the Netflix side of things, but our major news is that Gabby's Dollhouse is getting a season 7, which will be released on March 20th. I, we don't know how many episodes it will actually have, but I believe that it will have 7 episodes and bring the series as a whole to 52. Now, 52 episodes, that's kind of big because that essentially means that Gabby's Dollhouse could end. It hasn't been confirmed that season 7 is the final season, but what if it is? What if season 7 is the last time that we will ever see new episodes of Gabby's Dollhouse? Personally, I wouldn't mind if they stopped at 52 episodes, but then again, Gabby's Dollhouse has been pretty profitable, so maybe it will continue past 52 episodes, maybe not. Until then we know more, just expect new episodes on March 20th. In terms of other good news, we have renewals for the following TV shows. Go Dog Go Season 4, Boss Baby Back in the Crib Season 2, and what I believe will actually be the final season of Kung Fu Panda the Dragon Knight. Uh, well, Season 3 will be the final season of Kung Fu Panda the Dragon Knight. It's just, it hasn't been confirmed or anything, but I believe that's going to be the case based on where the story is going to go. These three shows will get their new seasons at some point in 2023. That much has been confirmed. Other shows that are confirmed for 2023 include the series premieres of Not Quite Narwhal and Do Drop Diaries, both coming to Netflix. Both of these shows will actually have two seasons with a total of 26 episodes. Well, at least in their first phase. We don't know much about these shows or like when they'll release other than the fact that they will release at some point in 2023. And believe it or not, we actually have more good news as this December, we will be getting a short film centered around the bad guys that is like a Christmas special. We don't know what this special is going to be called, and, but I believe that it could be called the bad guys in the holiday heist. Essentially, it's going to have the bad guys try to pull off a series of heists on Christmas Day, except Christmas has been cancelled, so they have to find some way to bring Christmas back so that they can, uh, well, I don't know, they just want to bring the Christmas spirit back for the sake of bringing the Christmas spirit back. It will take place before the first film, and it will be released this December or maybe November. You can expect it to be released sometime around the holiday season of 2023, though. Really, the only show that we have yet to confirm for Netflix is Team Zenko Go. This has currently ran for two seasons with a total of 22 episodes. Now, honestly, I believe that the phase of Team Zenko Go is over, but second phase has yet to be confirmed or denied, which means that maybe we could get a season three and maybe not. It's literally just up to viewership as to whether or not season three happens. We don't know when season three will happen or even if it's going to happen, but still. 
With that out of the way, let's move on to Peacock. On March 2nd, we got the Season 5 of Dragons the Nine Realms, which just so happens to have left on a cliffhanger, so I'm 99% sure that we will be eventually be getting Season 6. And due to the way the show is formatted, I believe we'll also get a Season 7 and a Season 8. The problem is that, again, Season 5 literally just released, so don't expect Season 6 to drop for at least two, maybe three months, maybe more than that. The good news, however, is that we managed to obtain brand new information that both the Crude's family tree and Abominable the Invisible City have been renewed. The Crude's family tree will have its new season released on March 30th, 2023, and Season 2 of Abominable the Invisible City will be released on March 29th, 2023. Puss in Boots The Last Wish has been in theaters for quite some time now, and if you haven't seen it yet, I highly suggest you do. But if theaters isn't for you, you can actually buy the movie on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital right now. And if you... Or you can rent it on one of those, whatever you want to do. But if you really want to know, you can uh, wait for it to head to streaming services. It is currently signed up for an 18-month deal with Peacock and Netflix. It will stream on Peacock for four months and then move to Netflix for 10 months. And then the last four months, it will move back to Peacock. So, with that in mind, that essentially means that with the Blu-ray release taking place on February 28th, we can expect that Puss in Boots The Last Wish will eventually head to Peacock by April 1st. If it's not on Peacock by April 1st, then I, I don't know. Just, I don't know what to say. But that means if it heads to Peacock by April 1st, then it needs to head to Netflix by August 1st. Just thought I would put that in there just for the sake of putting it in here. If you get the Blu-ray or digital version of the movie, you can actually get a short film called Puss in Boots The Trident, which just so happens to go into detail on one of Puss's deaths. And it's only four minutes long and not even worth the $25 price tag, but it's not going to be coming to any of the streaming services. The only way you can watch the short film is by actually purchasing the movie. But you do you. Either way, the movie will eventually be available on Peacock and Netflix. We talked about future TV shows on Netflix, but now let's talk about future TV shows on Peacock. Like Netflix, there are really only two shows confirmed. One of them is an untitled Casper TV show, which is, uh, you know, Casper the Friendly Ghost. I believe we could see the first season be released in October, you know, because Halloween, Ghost, yada yada. But the other TV show is Megamind's Guide to Defending Your City. And previously, I theorized that this could come out in November so as to commemorate the, um... The 13th, well, 13th year anniversary of the original movie. But no, it turns out that the series has been delayed to 2024. <laughs> you heard me! So, don't expect Megamind to be released until 2024. I am sorry for that unfortunate news, but that has to be the case. Especially if they want to make it as good as possible. We don't know who the cast list is. I'm just going to say that if they don't bring Will Ferrell back, they either need to get a really good actor or this is going to be a major flop. Okay, I'm just going to come out and say it. Doug and Plugs and Pinecone and Pony, neither of these shows have been renewed, which essentially means that, um, well... Here's the thing, Pinecone and Pony, I believe, will eventually get a new season, but Doug Unplugs, I think that the, I just don't think it's going to get a season three. But with that out of the way, we are now ready to talk about everything coming up. Let's see, we have Gabby's Dollhouse season seven coming out on March 20th. We don't know if it's the final season or not. We also have Abominable The Invisible City Season 2 coming out on March 29th on Peacock and Hulu. 
on the same streaming service. We will get The Crude's Family Tree Season 6 on March 30th. We have Meet the Gilmans or Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken or My Life as a Kaiju coming out in summer 2023, or that's if the rumor is to be believed. The next film could very well be Trolls Band Together, released on November 17th, 2023, and then Meet the Gilmans could be delayed to 2024, at least on one of these two dates. Or maybe Shrek 5 and Mice and Mystics could take up those two dates. One of the three. And we're also getting Kung Fu Panda 4, released on March 8th, 2024, and it will star Jack Black. And we're, of course, getting our very first live-action DreamWorks movie with How to Train Your Dragon being released in March 14th, 2025. I hope you guys are looking forward to most of these projects, if not all of them, and that you are also looking forward to my next video on the channel. Tune in next month for the April update of upcoming DreamWorks projects. And until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and that you are all staying safe out there. Until next time, bye. <laughs>